you call? Yeah. Let's go find that radio tower. Hey, maybe we can find something in that boat over there. Keep your eyes peeled. Way ahead of you, kid. different in the water. I think we found something. Let's go see what it is. Hey, I bet this goes all the way through. Give me a hand with this. All right, same time. Come on. Let's do it. All right, come on, kids, go. You go in. Okay. Hey, flashlights out. Sam, stay. Someone's finally learning. Check this side out. If you can get it open, I can crawl through and clear that door. <coughs> that is a big rat. Think they'll join us um, all the way to Tommy's? Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to see how everything pans out. Hey, this way! Looks like there's a path up ahead. Right here. Yeah, 
Henry, give it a shot. All right. Go early. Oh, there you go. That's smart. <sighs> oh, I can't wait to get out of this place. All right, see if that generator still got some juice. There goes nothing. to live here. Don't look like that's the case anymore. Who would stay in here? Someone who thought they could keep a place like this safe.
Well, I guess we know what happened to these people. Seeing how there was a clicker that had been going for a while. Yeah, I'm cool. That was me. I must have triggered some kind of safety gate or something. Henry, see if we can lift this. So, this is awkward. Yeah, I know. It's like every time. Clickers! Oh, what? Hey, this thing isn't budging, man. Just go, get out of here. Sam, you stay close to him. Henry, we gotta fucking move! You keep him safe! Go! See that? Stay behind me. If I run, you run.
Looks like it. Look at this place. It's like a classroom. Why can they keep it safe? Son, I wish I knew. God knows they didn't deserve it. Go ahead. There we go. Good job, kid. Is that Ellie? Come on. Joel, that's them! Sam! Oh, thank God. We gotta keep running. Right over there! Oh, Sam! Run! So many of them! Ellie, get away from the door! Maybe if we push it together. Come on. Sam! He just broke through! He what? Sam, what the hell are you doing? Out of here. Well, hurry up there. All right, go. Everyone upstairs. Let's go. Fresh air. Look at this. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Thanks for the warning on the other side, guys. So where's this tower? We're close. Come on, let's go. Hey. How you doing, little man? That was a close one, huh? Yeah. Not one of our finest moments, but... We made it out. Yeah. Hey, look at that! Yup. What'd I tell you, huh? Let's find a way around to it. What about you? How you holding up? Business as usual, right? When I was with Henry, I... Yeah. It was pretty intense back there, huh? Oh, yeah. Totally. How did you two end up here? Rachel. 
Well, that wasn't a good idea, no, was it? Just five when the cordyceps hit. I well, remember it was pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues. Parents, they would throw these crazy <laughs> barbecues and invite a ton of people. You know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. We'll shoot on sight. Lots of friendly people lived here. First few months after the outbreak, they had a lot of looting. Everyone got paranoid. You remember any of that, Joel? Yeah, everyone barricaded themselves in their homes. And supplies started running low. That's when you saw what people are really capable of. What was this place like without infected? You're gonna want to stay away from those. It's not like it is in the zone. These are wild. Uh, is anybody else hungry? Yes. Hey, guys. We break when we get to the radio tower. Sam, be careful. falling apart. You find anything? Thank you. Here we go.
нашли. Street. All right now, y'all stay here. No. Before you start, I need you guys to keep him busy. I'm gonna go around and see if I can't get the angle on him. Okay. Hey, be careful. I see you.
Paris. You all right, Sam? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks, Joel. Look at this. <sighs> all right. We did it. We should move. All right. Sam! <laughs> Sam. Are you okay? You sure? I said I'm fine. Come on, come on! Let's move! Anybody hurt? Uh -oh. No, we're good. I think it's time we quit this place. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Dead serious. It's Tommy's birthday, and that's all he wanted to do is just rent two Harleys and drive cross country. Man, I could die happy if I could just ride one around the block. <laughs> what was it like? It was good. It was real good. Good? Can, can you believe this guy? Come on, man, give me details. Describe it. <laughs> you know what? You two deserve a little privacy. No, no, Ellie, Ellie. This isn't just any regular motorcycle, okay? You get on that bad boy, you feel that engine? Nothing like it. Oh, yeah, how would you know? Seen it in my dreams. <laughs> okay. I don't think anyone from my group is gonna show up. Yeah. Worst part about it all, explaining it to Sam. Well, it's safe to say those two have officially bonded. What are you doing? 
taken stock of all the food we found today. I see. And how are we doing on canned peaches? Did Henry send you? No. Why would Henry send me? To make sure I'm not fucking up somehow. I'd say we all did pretty good back there. Especially you. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Well, have a good night. How is it that you're never scared? Who says that I'm not? What are you scared of? Uh, let's see. Scorpions are pretty creepy. Uh, being by myself. I'm scared of ending up alone. What about you? Those things out there. What if the people are still inside? What if they're trapped in there without any control of their body? I'm scared of that happening to me. Okay. First of all, we're a team now. Okay, we're gonna help each other out. And second, they might still look like people, but that person is not in there anymore. Henry says that they've moved on, that they're with their families, like in heaven. Do you think that's true? I go back and forth. I mean, I'd like to believe it. But you don't. I guess not. Yeah, me neither. Oh, all the serious talk, I almost forgot. There, if he doesn't know about it, he can't take it away. All right, I'm pooped. I'll see you tomorrow. That smells good. Good morning. Where's Sam? I let him sleep in for once. Oh. Well, if you want him to join us, you can go wake his ass up. Okay. Sam? <laughs> Sam! What the hell? <laughs> Shit, he's turning! <laughs> That's my fucking brother! <laughs> Screw it! <laughs> Shit! Carly, gotta go. You're right. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Sam? Oh no. Sam? Henry? Hell, <gasps> stay there. Henry? What have you done? I'm gonna get that gun for me, okay? Oh, okay, okay, easy. Is it your fault? This is nobody's fault, Henry. It's all your fault! Henry! Henry, no! Close to Jackson City, right? Should be more than a few miles. 
You ready to see dear old brother? I'm just ready to get there. You nervous? I don't know what I'm feeling. Uh, so much for this road. You just follow the river. It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Come on. What happened between you two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly <coughs> something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, here we go. <coughs> so what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the fire. Yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? The last time you saw him. I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. But he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, if they're without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. There's a hydroelectric power plant. It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. How'd you do that? Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. I need you to... I know. Step on the fucking pallet. Give it a spin. Hey, be careful crossing that thing. I will. Teamwork. Stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Um, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen and we move on. It's just. That's enough. <sighs> All right. I'm sorry. Let's get to Tommy's. I know, I am too. All right, next squirrel I see, I'm totally shooting it. Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Well, as I said, you're responsible. Uh, should we head in? Uh, 
Ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. Even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, okay. please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. What are you doing, baby brother? God damn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You get fucking old. Easy. It's going to happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Um, Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. They're friendlies. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joe. I had. We'll get it running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, yeah, you know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right, well, take it easy. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year, I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone, most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah. 
Okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. You're new around here. Yeah, Joel and Tommy's. Brother. War travels quickly around these parts. <laughs> Apparently. I kind of see the resemblance. I see. What's the comp? What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence when the plants are. Yeah, you still got to deal with infected, though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. Not much of a guard dog. That's a good boy. Well, you're good to have around. These two geniuses are gonna bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back. Time to go to work. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Lower it. Slowly. All right. That's good. Tommy's here. We good to go? Give me one second. Okay, good to go. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. present. Looks like you're out two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's go talk. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. Why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> it's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know, I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men, and nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither. But I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I was supposed to deliver to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys, you finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a Firefly in years. But you know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. 
What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. Bandit! Stop him! Don't let him into the building!
You okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Joel! Oh man, they were coming in from every direction and Maria was like, we gotta run! And so we dove over these tables and this huge guy blasted with a shotgun. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Listen, then... hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Maria, I can't have this hanging over my head. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? And what's that all about? Does that have anything to do with me? We'll talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? We'll talk about it later. Later. Right. One fuck up and then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. Fine. Maria. Here we go. You. If anything, anything at all happens to him, it's on you. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. Well, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Joe! What, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn it. Which way? Come on. I just saw her riding on out of here. Go back inside. Help the others clean the place up. Okay. Careful out there. There. Yeah. See the tracks? <laughs> she couldn't have gotten far. We'll find her. Don't worry. Stop and kick. She usually pull these stunts. Nothing like this. What's going on? Here. Here. Get him. Horse tracks. There, more tracks. Goddamn many. Go around, I'll cover you. Over there.
That's all of them. Back to the horses. Let's keep going this way. So they didn't get to her. Come Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys? Movies? Deciding which shirt goes with which skirt? It's bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time! Tommy knows this area oh, better fuck than... That... Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit! What are you so afraid of? That I'm gonna end up like Sam? I can't get infected! I can take care of myself! How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing alright so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy! Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And... You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared.
Let's get back to the horses. We're clear. You want a hand up? I got it. There she is. Kids will be watching movies tonight. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. Go big horns. <laughs> Ellie, get off your horse. Give it on back to Tommy. I'm gonna hang on to this fella. That's all right with you. Go on, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? Your wife kind of scares me. <laughs> I don't want her coming after me. Sorry for stealing your horse. Look, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You don't need my mind's all made up. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror and you can't miss it. Care that wife here. There's a place for you here. You know. You good? I'm good. Adios, little brother. called Turno. And if you clear the 10 yards, then you're back at first down? First down, that's right. Man, it's confusing. <laughs> you just gotta play it a couple times. It all makes sense. 